Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're going to talk a little bit about relays, specifically solid state relays, how they differ from electromechanical relays, and what the advantages and disadvantages are. So the basics, you know, we're going to start with what's a relay and what it does. A relay uses a small signal to switch a large signal. Now the way an electromechanical relay does it is on one side you have your small input signal and on the other side you have a coil and the coil has normally open contacts so when the small signal goes in well let me draw it for you so here's a basic overview of an electromechanical relay we have our common terminal our normally open and our normally closed and then we have the terminals for the coil now, if the coil is unenergized, as it is in its, its resting state, then our common terminal is connected to the normally closed. When we energize here, this little lever is going to flip down and make its contact there between the normally open. So now we have contact between the normally open and common. That's the basics of your electromechanical relay. Now here's a simple diagram of our solid state relay. This one is a particular one for uh, AC. As you can see, this one is specified for AC voltages. Your solid state relays are generally either specified AC or DC, unlike electromechanical relays, which can work either way. So in this case, on the one side, our control side, we have a switch that basically just turns on and off an LED. And then we have the, um, the photovoltaic cell, which receives that light and energizes a triac that switches the load on or off. Now, one of the great advantages of this is that triac will only switch the load at the zero crossing point. Let me show you what I mean. So here's our sine wave. We have zero volt here in the middle. We have 120 up top. We have minus 120 at the bottom. Now let's say, for instance, on an electromechanical relay, we flip the switch. And this, this, by the way, is our time axis. So let's say we flip that switch here with the electromechanical relay. Well, that is the point in which the electromechanical relay is going to switch off we're in this upper part of the sine wave cycle with full voltage. Now, with a solid state relay, because it has the triax in there, if we switch it off at this point, it is going to remain energized through this point of the cycle and is not going to actually switch off until we reach that zero point. And that is a good thing because when we switch off an AC device, high in the uh, sine wave cycle towards a more positive or even towards the most negative point. But when we're at the high point or the lowest point of the sine wave, you will get a magnetic breakdown that can cause back EMF into your circuit. Now the solid state relay, because it's using that uh, thyristor, that is not going to happen. It's going to wait till it reaches that zero point. Then the thyristor, or in some cases they use a pair of SCRs, will disengage and it's always going to be at zero. So there is none of that magnetic breakdown, none of that back EMF. So what are some advantages and disadvantages of the solid state relay over the electromechanical relay? Well, on the plus side, the, S, the uh, solid state relay, the SSR, is generally smaller. It has no moving parts so it lasts longer. Okay. Its output resistance is steady, regardless of the load, and they are bounceless. There's no, there's no springy bar making contact that can bounce. It's all, like I said, it's, it's solid state. There's nothing that can go bad there. So, what are some of the disadvantages? 
Well, they're going to have a higher internal resistance, which means they're going to get hot, which is why you will find a uh, heat, sheet, heat sink plate on the back, and they generally need to be mounted to heat sinks. Now, when they're open, they're going to have a very low resistance. Uh, another downside is the voltage slash current is not linear. So if you're looking at the waveform, you're going to get some distorted waveforms. It's generally not a big deal. Um, there is a possibility that they could switch on transients. So if there was a, uh, a strong spike somewhere else in the circuit, it could set this off. Now, they also require an isolated bias supply. Not really a big deal, but, I mean, you don't necessarily need that on an electromechanical relay. And what I find to be the biggest fault is they fail closed. So if they fail, they generally fail with the output on as opposed to an electromechanical relay, which will generally fail with the output off. To me, that's a big thing, but you know, whatever you need for your application. One last thing I failed to mention, and I don't consider this a big point, but it could be a big point to you, they're silent. So here, I've got it hooked up to the power supply. I'm gonna bring it right up here by the monitor you can watch the led it's on it's off on off there is no sound at all and they're also sealed so there's not going to be any sparks in an explosive gas environment or a hazardous environment these would generally be considered the safer bet but you know you're going to have to use them based on your application now i had removed this little protective plate, you will generally find them on the front there as well to protect your contacts. And again, as I stated, this one is for AC use. They also make them for DC use, and in the DC ones, you won't find a triac. Instead, you basically just find a MOSFET or a uh, Darlington resistor in there to switch the power on and off. So, again, pretty simple devices. Just wanted to show you some pros and cons and uh, what the differences are between a solid state and an electromechanical relay. In case you were wondering or uh, needed one for one of your projects. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.